big goals being a dad was to create an outdoor hockey rink for my kids to be able to skate on. Step one was to build a perimeter. So we used lumber to build that perimeter box and then laid a tarp into that perimeter. The tarp is key. It needs to be one solid surface going across. Yeah. I, I tried at first with, with just some yes. poly and tape <laughs> and it didn't hold water. Having a good solid surface for the tarp was the first key thing. Then you gotta fill it up and you just gotta pray for the right weather. I mean, over the weekend, this was a beautiful ice surface. Now that the sun's hit us, yeah. it started to melt a little bit, <laughs> but I think it's still fun for the kids. Daddy, you can do it! It was a lot of work, but I yeah. think it was well worth it. Anything I can do to find a way to get the kids out of the house in the cold weather and have fun. Yeah, I think we learned a lot, so it'll go a little smoother the next time. Hopefully. <laughs> what do you think? You guys like it? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Woo! Amazing dad you are, Dave. Those were your kids having fun in the backyard rink, yeah, yeah. and soon, Joey, you're going to be able to bring your kids over to skate yeah. in the rink. He has a new one, a fresh new baby. Yes. A fresh new baby. <laughs> Look at that! A little baby Cooper. Name and date of birth, please. That is Cooper. He was mm -hmm. born on January 8th. Lovely. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> a Capricorn, by the way. So that's <laughs> For those of you keeping track. Good baby. Yes. Okay, so building that rink, you say, was a bit of trial and error. It yes. was, yes. and I mean, you're a hockey mom, right? Yes, You I thought am. you would I'm never be a hockey mom, yes, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I'm a hockey, I'm a soccer dad. Okay. And I thought I would be a hockey dad by now. Right. So my <laughs> motivation behind you. this was trying to get my son into hockey, right. skating, and enjoying it. <laughs> and yeah. maybe that's where he went wrong. The intention. Right. It wasn't pure. Yeah. This and was all for Dave. It was. It, it was entirely for me. And <laughs> totally. I wanted to do this as cheap as possible because I didn't know how it was going to last throughout the winter. Yes. I didn't know if the kids were even going to enjoy it. So I didn't want to put a ton of money into it. Right. So basically what I used was some scrap wood that we had left over from our job sites. Okay. Put them together and then I attempted to use... Um, a vapor barrier yes. okay. because we had that left over. It was just laying around. I might as well get it out of our shop and use that. And I Why laid not? that down in the surface first yeah. and taped it. And That was a mistake. It was a mistake. <laughs> was a Why didn't mistake. that work? Yeah. Well, I started filling it up, but because you have seams in it, the water is going to find oh, any way possible yeah. to get out. So it was leaking. My okay. backyard was flooding. <laughs> oh. It was a disaster. So okay. it has to be a seamless yeah. tarp. That is very, very important. Okay. And it has to be white as well, not just for, you know, the look of the ice. Yeah. But white doesn't absorb the sunlight, and it doesn't oh. heat up. If you have a dark tarp, it's going to heat up, and that's going to start melting the ice from underneath. Oh, good tip. Very yeah. important. Okay. So once you have your frame built, you want to yeah. make sure it's in place. Another very, very important tip is that you want to have as level of the surface as yes. possible. Mm -hmm. That was another mistake I made. <laughs> My backyard looked good. They said you have to have, like, a six degree and I was like down there I'm like eh, that should be good fine enough. yeah <laughs> and then I rolled the tarp out yeah <clears throat> staple it around the edges yeah make sure it's nice and tight down inside yeah. there mm -hmm. um, and then I, I filled it with water yes and one end <laughs> is filling a lot more than the other end <laughs> It's like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh, I've made a mistake here. What do you do now? <laughs> so I was able to push some of the snow over, okay. build it up a little bit, and this end was a little bit thinner than the other end was. Okay, well. Um, but it still worked, it still yes. worked. We yes. got there, we That's got fine. there. Yeah. Um, and one of the really important things is making sure that this is secure. Yeah. Because another mistake I made <laughs> was that this wasn't secured all the way around. The tarp wasn't fastened around the perimeter. Okay. So the wind came. Yes. The snowstorms came. Yep. Oh. And they blew the tarp into it, <laughs> and then the water froze. Oh. So then I'm out there with boiling water, chipping ice, trying to pull it out around <laughs> oh, the edges. Wow. So it's it's not for the faint of heart. No. Right. You're getting a, into this. There's a lot of trial and error. Yes. Well, we're that happy like... that you did all the trial for us. Yes. <laughs> the trial and error for us. And see, I said you were a great dad. You're a great dad. <laughs> we also have amazing plumbers yes. that work for us. Yes. I was telling them about the pains I was going through with yeah. my hockey rink, and they were like, oh, we're gonna make you a Zamboni. Oh. So he got on the phone with Scott, and That's they so put cool. together a Zamboni for us with yep. plumbing parts. Okay. So basically just a little T connection, yeah. you pipe through, and then drill holes yeah. all the way through the end. And then he's got Attach a connection here hose. at the top as well. Yes. Exactly, connect your hose, there's your on off switch. And there you go, it's a manual Zamboni, or as we like to call it, a manboni. A, a manboni? <laughs> <laughs> Running hot water through it is cute too. Uh, to have hot water.
water circulating through. So if you, uh, if you need to, you can get a plumber to put a hot water tap on the outside of your house so that you can connect right there. Okay. In my place, I've got uh, my laundry sink near the exterior, so I was able to attach my hose to that to get yes. the hot water to come through it. Yeah. Um, and then you can run the hot water through. It's going to melt down that top surface nicely, give you a nice crystal clear top oh, surface so cool. to skate on. You should have some hockey players by next season. I, I sure think. hope so. <laughs> so by the way, we're putting step-by-step -step instructions uh, on how to build your own ice rink in your backyard on our website, that's cityline.tv. Nice. You guys are going to be busy this weekend, I have heard, because yes. you're going to be at the home show, Home Improvement Edition at the International Center. Audience, you can all go and meet them because we have tickets for you. <laughs> outdoor rink situation yes. like maybe you don't have the space perhaps you have the space indoors yes there are products that can go inside the house Which is uh, amazing there's one that scott mcgover used at his place called hockey shot yeah uh, so it's a surface you can put down a lot of people do it in the basement oh nice level gosh. floor yeah. and you can use uh, actual skates on that surface that's incredible yeah, yeah. And you so you what? need a little bit of room inside now a little yes. bit of room inside <laughs> yeah. and you know what that doesn't need is all the work i did outside that's right <laughs> so